I would like to demonstrate how to use WPML to translate your existing website into other languages. After you have installed WPML, you go to the third tab, Translation Management. Then you select the pages or articles or the products that you want to uh, translate. Then you go to the end of the page and find duplicate content. What it does is to duplicate your already uh, written English content into the destination languages. I have previously selected only these languages. If you have selected more, it would appear here in the list. After you select duplicate content, you click duplicate. It normally will take a while. The status will be showing below the button. Now you click on translate. Please note you need to click on translate after you have selected duplicate content. And wait until duplication has complete. Right now we are inside the translation bucket. Here you will see a list of your blog titles. The points are very clear. You just follow the step. On this page, you can review how many characters, how many words will be used in total for this translation. Then you go to the bottom part of the page and click Send all items for translation. In the following step, you go to Translations queue and here you select Available to Translate. After selecting all your translation jobs, all your translation jobs, you go here, click on export, and your server will pack all the files and download it to your local computer. These are the files. It's called XLIFF file. Uh, specially created for translators that it will mark the original language code, the destination language code, and WPML will extract your content line by line and waiting to be translated. Once it is translated, it will mark it as uh, completed. We change the status of the translation job. So the next step is that I will use Xenoposter to uh, read through each of these files and translate them either through Google or through DeepL. DeepL currently only have about 10 languages. Google definitely has more, but I was told that I, I read somewhere that DeepL is more accurate in terms of uh, machine translation, and it doesn't limit the characters to be 5,000. So uh, that's how I do it. I have been using Xenoposter for about a year. I think it is quite uh, uh, user-friendly for people who are not a programmer. And this template, uh, it basically go through the directory and it will get the path of each of the file, then uh, generate a list of the document for the preparation of the translation work in the next step. In this template, 
I'm using translate.google.com to translate all the uh, XLIFF translation files. So I will start the project. What it does, it first will read all the documents, then it's going to use the documents function to upload the document and write the language and get it translated. Then save it back. I will just uh, stop the process, stop the recording and let the program to run. It is normally very quick. It takes about uh, 30 seconds to complete one file.